Hello. Welcome back to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Sun shining for you. It's spring. It is, it's spring. April. Not, it's not very warm though in the UK, not yet. But it is sunny. But it is sunny and we are getting there. So, mm -hmm. so I've started, I've done a few bits in the garden. Um, I'll show you around. I've lost a few things this year because we had an extended period of frost and the plants didn't like it. <laughs> Hanging baskets are doing all right. Oh, we're starting over here, are we? You can do. <laughs> Coming along. The, they were winter ones, but I think they should be all right. So look here then. I've got to spread everything out yet. I just haven't done it. My lilac trees in bud. And the fig trees coming back. Nothing here has started yet. And the butterfly's still fine. <laughs> yeah, that's still there. We need to move him around so you can see it. <laughs> uh, another hanging basket behind you. Mm, let's get that in. So my daffs are finished. But as you can see, there was loads of them. Tons. But the tulips are taking over now. And the tree, yeah, it's gone a little crazy. It has. I think we might need to plant it in the garden, you know. Mm. It's not much of a dwarf tree. Because <laughs> the pot <laughs> looks a bit small now, doesn't it, for the... Yeah. Rosemary's in and there are some bees already. Lupins are coming back. These look as if they've self-seeded. Yeah. No one, never did show lupins this yeah. year then. The one in the middle is dead, so I'm going to have to replace that. Mm -hmm. Clematis is coming back. Clematis has come back and it's already in bud. Wow. And this morning... And the dog's found a stick. Yeah, <laughs> Ted's got his stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So this morning I have weeded and hoed this bed so what did i lose in here i had a flamingo tree that was dead as a dodo salvias as well just there they've gone but yeah everything looks as if it's springing back and everything's just a bit boggy at the It moment. is a bit boggy because we were underwater just a few days ago. That double clematis I've just noticed is in bud as well. Yep. And that's gone crazy again. Yeah, that's red jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. So I've now cut the roses down. Did that last week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things still need trimming. I haven't got round to that yet. Like my unruly bush. Your unruly bush, yes. <laughs> and that is another one, another Pittosporum. I think I'm going to have to move that this year. I think having two together is silly. But the hostas are already coming up. Look, that's really early for hostas. There's yeah. another one here. Although it's rained a lot, it's been quite mild too. Yeah, but there's been... There's another one round the back as well that I spotted that's come back. Mm. Yeah. But your bush is doing really well. I might have to trim it this yeah. year. Shed's still looking good. This yep. mess at the bottom is still... Well, it serves still a, a mess. <laughs> still serves a purpose. Yeah. So this bed, I haven't done anything yet. But the dead olive tree is coming, uh, yeah. coming to life. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the eucalyptus... I don't know that anybody else has this problem, but we are two eucalyptus now, and they always follow the sun. They mm. all seem, for some reason, to bend towards the sun. Yeah. Well, the olive tree is as well, look. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had another salvia just there. That's gone. I mean, monkey puzzles just going for it. Going for it, yeah. <laughs> that hosta's coming back. Yeah. That one back. I can't see as yet. And as always, the bamboo. Oh, the bamboo, just, it's just, it probably needs to be thinned out a bit, nah, really. it's beautiful. You leave it alone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's me told. Look at the blossom on the peach tree. That's the most we've ever had. 
Might have some peaches so this I'm year. So I'm hopeful then. this year. Well, there's a big hosta back there. Did you point that one out? No. Okay. Yeah, see that that's, one's coming back. Don't look at the weeds because I haven't done this side yet. <laughs> and there's one down there where that white post is, but there's no sign of that one yet. Mm -hmm. So I hope it's all right. The, what were they? Oleanders. I've had to chop them right down because everything had just gone brown. It'll come back. There, there was bits of life on it. It wasn't dead, but yeah, I've never cut it back that hard before. This blooming thing, your thing, is it Ceanothus? I have no idea. I think, yeah. It's just gone crazy, but again, I chopped that right down. Last year, it almost looked dead last year. <laughs> This, I can't remember what it is, but I'm going to have to move it because it's just getting, you can't see it, but there's nothing here, so I think I might just move it across. What's that just there? What, the ticket? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a plant. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it's um, irises, oh. but they didn't come up last year, so I think I've lost those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Obviously, that's not going to start to show yet. That's the um, big Aram, li Aram lilies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, More another bamboo. Yeah, bamboo. That that's just a little one. That's an offshoot of one of those, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's some irises. So these ones have come through, but those were white ones. And the oh. white ones just haven't taken at all. There's still time. Yeah, you never know. And a hacked yeah. rose bush. Yeah, another hacked rose bush. Oh. Yes. And a bee. And oh, the bees. <laughs> and the um oh, down there. Mm. Oh, Mr. B. What's this <laughs> stuff called? Um, laurel, isn't it? Laurel. Look, mm. it's got flowers on it. Yeah, for anybody that has laurel, when you chop it, dispose of it properly. Don't, don't let it get don't warm. Don't put it in. Yeah, don't put it in your car <laughs> and go to the tip with your windows closed because it produces cyanide. And apparently there was a case where somebody chopped uh, a laurel bush down, put it in the back of his car, and had a big accident in his car yeah. because the cyanide got him. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. You do. Yes. As always. Right. Now, just here, I'm going to need your help mm. when you're free because mm. I'd like the yuccas digging up. Yeah. We found out the yuccas, especially the ones out the front as well, any little spore just develops into a tree. Yeah, they it's, are a, it's a nightmare. Folks. Yeah, I'd like that gone as well, if possible. That We did chop it away, but it's come back again. Yeah, that's. I think that's a root off that yeah, tree. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's going to need a bit of excavation. Yeah. Yeah, so everything else. Now, the blue flower down there, I haven't got a clue what it is. We wondered if it was an anemone. And I wonder if the other things that are coming up are, what did I say? Stilbies. No. No. Nope. Um, oh, bother, I can't remember. I said it earlier as well. <laughs> It'll Drumsticks. Come. It'll come to you. Alliums. Alliums, that's what I wonder if they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, yeah, um, so I've still got some trimming and bits and bobs. Some things I'm going to have to move. Well, it's starting to come to life. And I've still got this bed to weed and hoe. I'm not sure that's starting to come to life. That's looking a bit yeah, sorry. I think it might be pot bound. Uh, lots of little jobs to do then. Yeah, I mean, we're never going to get it out of that pot, so. Probably not. Yeah, so there you go. That's the garden at the moment. Excellent. Yeah, how's your gardening going? You started? <laughs> Have you had any fatalities <laughs> this year? Like we have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, it's nice to see you again. Bye.